investigating a concave mirror. Look at this. When the position of the candle is changed, the nature of its image in the concave mirror varies. Why does it vary? Come, we shall investigate this mirror. First we find out the focal length of this concave mirror. The distant object method is the simplest way to find the focal length. The rays of light coming from a distant object are always parallel to each other. These rays of light after reflection from a concave mirror converge at a point on the principal axis called the focus. The distance between the pole of the mirror and the focus gives the focal length. Mount the concave mirror vertically on a stand in such a way that it is facing an object which is outside the room. Place a screen in front of the mirror. Adjust the position of the screen until a clear, well-defined image is obtained on it. Measure the distance between the screen and the mirror. This distance gives the focal length of the mirror. The image formed varies with the position of the object in front of the mirror. We shall now place the object at various positions and check the image formed. In order to know the position and nature of the image formed due to reflection of light from a mirror, generally, two rays coming from the same point of an object are considered. A ray of light passing through the center of curvature retraces its path after reflection. A ray of light parallel to the principal axis after reflection passes through the focus. A ray of light passing through the principal focus emerges parallel to the principal axis after reflection. A ray of light incident at the pole of the mirror gets reflected according to the laws of reflection. The image is formed at the point of intersection of these reflected rays. Click on the buttons to view the animated ray diagrams for different positions of the object. Choose the rays by clicking on the links provided. Choose the rays by clicking on the links provided. Choose the rays by clicking on the links provided. Choose the rays by clicking on the links provided. Choose the rays by clicking on the links provided. Choose the rays by clicking on the links provided. Let's explore this concave mirror. The positions of the focus and center of curvature of the mirror are marked. Drag the candle and place it at the focus. Between the focus and the pole. Between focus and center of curvature. 
and beyond center of curvature. Then drag the screen till a clear image is obtained. Check whether the image of the candle is formed behind the mirror or on the screen. Identify the position, nature and size of the image for each position. Where is the image? When the object is at the focus of the mirror, the rays emerge parallel after reflection. When the object is between the focus and the pole of the mirror, the rays of light diverge after